The Des Moines Golf and Country Club in America was the location for the recent Solheim Cup, the biggest tournament in ladies golf, which pits Europe against the United States. Leading up to the main event, some of the best juniors in the world got a taste of the big time. The future stars of the LPGA and the Ladies European Tour teed it up in the Junior Solheim Cup. US captain Alice Miller and Europe skipper Alison Nicholas. What a great opportunity. What an experience for them. I think, it, you know, they, they learn such a lot from the week and it's just exciting to be part of a team and playing for the country. It's a huge, huge stage to be on. And then they're rubbing elbows with their idols, you know, and, and the, the people that they look up to and want to be with, the professionals, they're practicing on the same driving range, they're staying at the same hotel, they're using the same clubhouse. The Junior Solheim Cup follows the same model as the professionals, team match play with foursomes, four balls and singles. This was the ninth edition of the event and the 24 players, all aged under 18, were understandably excited to be sharing the same stage as their heroes. Lexi Thompson, I mean, I ran into her in the locker room and I, I didn't know what to say, but I was like, I gotta say something, so I was just like, hi, Lexi. <laughs> she said hi, so that's cool. <laughs> so cool to play such a great course and at the same venue as the Real Solomon Cup. Um, it's a great experience, because you like you will see how they play their course and you can like kind of see what, how you did and what they're gonna do. It's so much fun to see them play and think like this is what we want to do soon sooner or later and it's it's really cool and I hope that I can play here in a few years and be like the, the idol of some of the younger girls here. Since the first event back in 2002, 19 players from the junior version have graduated to play in the senior Solheim Cup. And if the standard of golf was anything to go by this year, that number will soon be on the rise. There's little doubt the stars of the future were on show here. The 2017 edition began with the four balls, and there were birdies galore as both teams pushed to gain an early advantage. There was an incredible eagle from Team USA's Rachel Heck on the par 5 ninth. The 15-year-old was fresh from making the cut as the youngest player at the US Open. I had a pretty good drive right where I wanted to, and then I was about 2.15 out, um, and I knew the green slopes left to right, so I took a five foot and just landed it front right and just let it um, trickle down to the hole. And then on my putt, I was about six feet away, and the greens here can be really tricky, so it was actually breaking two ways. It was breaking right at first and then left, and um, the girl that I was playing against, actually, um, her chip shot went right behind my ball, so I got the read, and yeah, I was happy to make that. It was all very tight. The scores tied at three all after the four balls. But then the rain intervened. A delay of very nearly four hours led to a late finish as they tried to get as many holes as possible completed in the foursomes. By the end, they were playing in near darkness, but it didn't diminish enthusiasm or the very high standard of play, which impressed the former pros. The matches were we were up, we were down, and they fought their hearts out and just played fantastic golf towards the end. Yeah, it's a difficult day with the rain delay, but fabulous golf. These girls can play. Fortunately, the weather was more cooperative on day two as the girls went back out to complete the alternate shot round. It was fitting that after another 18 holes of competition, there was still nothing to separate the two teams. I'd like to think that we, we could have come in and blown them out, but I knew that wasn't going to be the case. The European players are equally strong. Uh, how many matches came to the 18th hole? You just don't see golf like this. So it's close, all level, going into the singles, and the singles are going to determine it. Both teams are pretty even as far as like skill level. I mean, we're all like really good, and um, we're all playing pretty good golf. So I think singles will definitely be really interesting. With the scores tied at six all, the stage was set for a thrilling afternoon. 12 matches were left to decide the 2017 Junior Solheim Cup. The Americans were desperate to keep the trophy they've had in their possession since 2009. Europe hoped to score a memorable upset by winning away from home for the first time, and the visitors certainly put up an almighty fight as the putts continued to drop.
But as the matches started to take shape, it was the Americans who once again stepped up. In her final event as a junior golfer, Caitlin Papp won her match six and five. Rachel Heck showed exactly why she's number two on the Rolex AJGA rankings. She posted another win and finished the weekend undefeated. And Emilia Migliaccio is another who's off to college. She was one up on 17 and needed a long putt for par to keep it that way. The whole round, I was really trying to make sure I was playing the course and not playing Julia, so I wasn't stressed out or nervous. And when her opponent, Julia Engstrom of Sweden, missed her birdie attempt at the last for the half, Team USA had secured the 12 points it required to retain the Junior Solheim Cup. Just playing for a team and knowing when you make a putt or you hit a shot, even if, regardless if it's good or bad, your teammates are there cheering you on. And this is a week I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. The USA completed a resounding 14 and a half to nine and a half victory. And it was 16-year-old Brooke Say who wrapped things up. I had no idea. I was just doing my best to win my match and do everything that I could, everything that was in my power. As soon as I walked off the green, my teammates told me that we won, and it was just the best feeling in the world to see them cheer me on and to watch that puck go in. It, it just feels amazing to be able to do that for my team and my best friends and in the name of my country. The quality of the golf, the shot making, the back and forth uh, was just phenomenal. They'll have memories from this event, friendships from this event, friendships with the opposing team. And if this is their dream to play out here, this just ups it one more notch. Our top five features a number of golfers who first appeared on our show as teenagers. First up is Leona Maguire. It was 2008 when we met the then 13-year-old and her twin sister Lisa in Ireland. Leona is now the world's number one ranked female amateur player and is expected to make a huge impact when she turns professional. LPGA star Lydia Ko was 15 when we filmed with her back in 2012. The South Korean-born New Zealander became the youngest ever golfer, male or female, to reach number one in the world rankings when she was 17. She's also a two-time major winner. It was 2003 when we spent time with the 14-year-old Michelle Wee in her native Hawaii. Back then, she was being tipped as the next big thing in women's golf. She turned pro and signed lucrative deals with Nike and Sony, but to date, she's won just one major. Next up is Sergio Garcia. Back in 1999, a 19-year-old Garcia was being hailed as the next Seve Ballesteros. After four second-place finishes at the majors, the Spaniard finally ended his drought earlier this year by claiming the green jacket at the Masters. And finally, it was 1990 when we travelled to California to meet up with a 14-year-old Tiger Woods. There was already a huge sense of excitement surrounding the American. He was a scratch player and had won five Junior World Championship titles. To date, Woods has won 14 majors, but none since 2008.